Hello, everyone, and welcome to Isless. My name is Veronica Ripley. I am the creator of Isless, and I'm so happy to have you here today. Welcome. Hi. Uh, for those of you who are watching this live at Twitch, we stream the show every uh, Friday at noon Pacific here at twitch.tv slash fablescraps. You can also find our VODs at YouTube and here on Twitch, and you can catch our podcast everywhere podcasts are listened to. We, it's on Apple Podcasts now and Spotify and all of those. So check that out, too. You can find all of those links at fablescraps.com. You can find a super exclusive podcast called Leftovers, which is like a behind-the-scenes look at the making of our show and like a little interview with the cast and stuff uh, at our merch store. So just go to merch.fablescraps.com if you want to become a supporter and get access to this super cool, exclusive podcast called Leftovers. Um, I want to give a big thank you to everyone who has supported the stream so far. It's very, very cool of you. Uh, thank you. Thank you. We're going to introduce the cast, and when we do, I would love it if we could get some reactions in chat to let me know if they sound okay. So if when we go through the list of people, they're going to say a little, little couple of words about their characters. And I need to see some ones in chat if they sound good and twos with their name if they don't. So I can know who to fix, okay? And without further ado, let's introduce our cast. Candace the Magnificent. Hi, chat. Nice to see you. Welcome to Lemaret. I'll be your concierge for the day. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you, Candace. Next up, we have Domestic Dan. Hello, I'm Domestic Dan. I happen to be Leaf, son of Leaf, here in this, uh, I was gonna say wonderful world, but I think that's a lie. It's, it's just trying to kill all of us, so... <laughs> but I'm here. <laughs> awesome. Thank you, Dan. Next up, we have Technique. Hello, I'm Technique, aka Pliers. It's good to see you guys. Thanks for having us here and supporting the stream. See what um, kind of trouble I don't get into today. <laughs> yeah. Likely. Likely. <laughs> Next up is Candace. Hi, I'm Candace today. Nice <laughs> to see you. And I'm here to cry my way out of everything. Nice to see you. I'm Pip Pip. And hi, I'm also Chelsea Bice. Nice to meet you. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Now, <clears throat> without further ado, where we last left off, the cell had narrowly convinced a group of flu... I mean, excuse you, it wasn't narrowly. I uh, kind of slaughtered that convinced. <laughs> Despite the constant, never-ending whining from one member of the party, <laughs> the group of Fluve ranchers, two Fluve ranchers, who were, who were hurting hundreds, dozens maybe, hundreds maybe, of these, these massive beasts called Fluves, who were hurting them uh, across the plate lands. The party had narrowly convinced them uh, to allow them to, like, to accompany them to Lemeret. Uh, the cell is attempting to make their way to Lemeret for a number of reasons, uh, many of which the, the cell is a little bit divided. N many of these reasons the cell is a little bit divided upon. However, one member of the party was not present during this negotiation, in fact, was hiding in a tree above the negotiation. And so the two flu ranchers, uh, Bolt and Kicket, have no idea that, uh, that Leaf has had to catch up. It has been hours. <laughs> Leaf, you have been hopping nimbly pimbly from tree to tree. Trying to get your way ahead of this flu run so that you can meet the party where they said you would meet way further up the road. It's been a couple of hours and you've, you think you've made it. Uh, you're a few hours ahead. The sun is, is high in the sky and, uh, and you're waiting at, at a little portion of the road. You're sitting on a rock and what are you thinking about? You're catching your breath. I mean, I, I'm so tired now. 
I, I feel like I've been running for so long just off the one offhand remark. I don't, I don't know if they think I'm, I'm good at this or not, but I think I keep proving I might be, which is maybe not reinforcing the way I wish it to. Uh, I don't know what to think. These, these old weird farmers. Eh. Uh, I don't, I don't trust them too much. They looked like they were ready to just kill them because they were there. They don't seem very smart. Uh, so I'm kind of wanting to keep an eye out more to see, I don't know, maybe if they have anybody else waiting around hoping to, you know, jump these uh, companions of mine on the way or not. Yeah, it's, I mean, that's a, that's a fair assumption, absolutely. And something you probably would be thinking about as a hound. Uh, go ahead and make me a detect check. And do. Yeah, <laughs> I love how suspicious everyone is. <laughs> Everything's been terrible here, so every time we find someone who's like, I'm going to help you, by the way, now that the help has, you've gotten, I'm going to try to kill you. Like, it's just every time. <laughs> uh, there we are. Uh, 16. 16, okay. Uh, with a 16 roll, you're seated on this rock, the sun is high, the mist has let up a little bit, there's still like this little silken mist that's really common in Lemret, but it's burned off a little bit, so it's a little bit brighter, but the trees are so tall, and the you, if you peer long enough through the woods before you, you can almost make out the shores of the Sesamir Lake. There's tall grasses, you can hear the distant sounds of birds chirping. A small snack bird is, is perched on a little post in front of you. Its four eyes are twinkling, its head bobbing from side to side, looking for bone flies or night fairies or something to eat. It sees nothing, flies away, singing some awful little song all to itself. But you see no evidence of any kind of malfeasance. Well, that's at least encouraging. Uh, how how far away do you think we are from, well, um, I am and eventually them from uh, Lemurat from this spot? Um, it, it's pretty hard to say. You've, I don't think you've been this way before, have you? No, I have not. Yeah, it's pretty difficult to say. Probably another couple of hours or so. Hmm. Is, is, can I see it off in the distance or is it too many like, rolling hills and such? It's rolling hills mostly. Hmm, that's all right. Okay, well, I mean... Not much else I can easily do uh, outside of keeping watch for uh, suspicious activity, uh, looking for, like, you know, dust getting kicked up, that sort of thing. Uh, but other than that, I'll just wait, now that I'm pretty confident I'm ahead of them. You do see some dust getting kicked up in the distance. At least, you think you do. The fog in that direction appears to be a little bit darker, and you can sort of, if you really really try to feel for it, you can kind of feel some some reverberations from the ground. And mm. uh, after a few minutes, you do begin to see the first of the fluves loping stupidly toward you. These massive furry creatures, giant balls of fur matted in places, their dumb black eyes completely devoid of an, any kind of intelligence whatsoever looking desperately for a human hand to feed it fester berries. These creatures are, uh, are absolutely, uh, absolutely the, the least intelligent thing out here. Well, that's good to know. Seemingly hey. designed specifically for domestication. <laughs> yeah. One yeah. of them notices you and tries to, uh, begins to amble toward you. Ah. Uh. Hello there, weird thing. Eh. Yeah. You can see it jiggling, the, the rippling from the flesh just below the surface of its fur, kind of rippling with each big footstep. Its hind legs are way too long, its front legs are way too short, and it's just kind of loping toward you. You can begin to hear the thrumming. And they're probably not that far away, if you're here. It's coming mm. up to you and nudging you, trying to, it, like, almost the way that a cat would, like, push your hand to get attention, but this thing is so big it doesn't realize how big it is, and it's, like, pushing you off the yeah. the rock. Okay, yeah, 
Yeah, I see you. Uh, yeah, hi there. And I just kind of do one of these on the head. Just oh, okay. It's no, nuzzling I, your pocket. D no, that's that's where I keep my snacks. You don't get any of that. And like trying to push it away. <laughs> <laughs> it keeps going. Yeah, it just yeah, it I'm... keeps going past you, looking yeah. for another human that might feed it. Probably. Okay. Okay. Goodbye. You see more fluves. You see more fluves, and pretty soon the whole road is now just a steady stream of fluves loping slowly toward you. <sighs> okay. I'm, like, gonna stand kind of behind this rock so that they have to, like, go around the rock and not slam into me to yeah. get through. Sure. Some of them still bump into the rock, like, for no yeah. reason. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They are very but... cute, though. Oh yeah, oh, it's it's great to see adorable things that get crushed soon. Your uh, your vantage point from behind this rock allows you a, a, an excellent view of the brand across each one of their hinds uh, hind quarters. You can see a, a really distinct marking there, uh, denoting these as domesticated flubes. Hmm. <clears throat> okay, any moment now. Hopefully, I'll see them. It's actually a brand. That you may have seen before, Leaf. Now that I'm thinking about it, can you make me a lore check? Yeah. Let's see here. Uh, okay, I'm actually good at that. That's not that surprising, I suppose. Uh, unless I roll bad, uh, that's oh, no. an eleven. <laughs> actually, I think you still make it with an eleven. It was a, uh, it was an eight. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, you do recognize the brand. It's a really intricate, um, geometric design. Really common here in the Platelands. The Cassatt adore geometric designs. And so lots of, lots of logos here are just, like, way too elaborate. Specifically way too elaborate for brands which require, like, a really simple, a really simple type of thing. But, um, but while you were spending time at Arcadia Farms, you were, I mean, you stayed with Tazco, which is a really, really poor company that has an exclusion zone in in Arcadia Farms, but there are lots of other corporations that call Arcadia Farms home. And one of those corporations uh, has the exact same logo. You know it is Retworks. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. You begin to see more and more of these flubes ambling towards you before finally you see you begin to hear the ranchers. Yeah! Ah, there they are. Um, I'll, I'll kind of just make sure that I'm able to be seen easily. Uh, not, like, look like I'm hiding behind a rock watching them, but... Yeah, sure, you step up onto the rock, maybe? Yeah, maybe, like, kind of step up a bit, but, but, yeah, yeah, step up onto it, no weapons out, yeah, not sure. looking threatening. Yeah, okay, easy. Uh, they keep coming. Uh, you begin to see the, uh, the, the, the long spindly form of the uh, of the the gelp beetles that they're riding they're a thousand legs all below moving in unison with their large plumes you can see the 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 plumes of of uh, of incense being burned to control where they go the serpentine motion of these weird huge beet bugs and the ranchers atop them notice you and uh, and begin to make their way toward you. <clears throat> well, well, well! <clears throat> well, well, well! Wait, the other please. one beside him goes... Mm. Uh, I didn't see any water nearby, if you're looking to, to water your flues. What'd you say to me? <laughs> you were asking about a whale? <laughs> You try to be funny. <laughs> you got some water or cold wine or anything? Uh, no, unfortunately. I mean, I've got like a water skin, mm. well, but not enough for. Uh, that's, that's all right. Hey, um, you want to be with them, uh, them other folks? A mother for I'm waiting for my friends here. This was the point we'd meet before we get to Lamorette. What them other folks look like? Uh, let's see, we've got a small little 
little doctor lady. Mm -hmm. We've got a fancy lady who talks real pretty. Mm -hmm. And then we've got an annoying guy with a lot of like glasses yeah, yeah. and things. And yep, yeah, the annoying one. Yeah. What's he look like? <laughs> Is it? I mean, he's he's small. He's got the big old goggly things that he's always constantly twitching. Mm -hmm. and, and then he got, uh, I think he's got the bag that goes clinkety, clinkety, mm -hmm. clinkety all mm -hmm. over and over. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, other, the other one just <laughs> talks about contracts all the time mm -hmm. and getting people to sign things that they don't let them read at first. Yeah, I know is... your friends. I seen them. Uh, I seen them. They're here. Uh, they're just over by the lake. They're come to come around the other side, making sure them floofs don't drown themselves. Ah, yes. A number of them just ran into this rock while I was waiting. Man, the floof don't want to live. I swears to you. Them no. things will just drown themselves. Just the why? worst. Why would they want to do that? They don't know no better. Oh. Got no brains huh. in them. You ever try to see? You ever see a flu open inside? You know what it looks like inside? You know I can't say it do. Goopy. Huh. Oh. Goopy inside. It's soft bones, soft brains. Goopy. Full of goop. Ah. Huh. The other ones. Are... <laughs> is that is that why they press? Is they press so good? Yeah, I don't know what they do once they get the effluvium works. That's above my pay grade. Ah, no, I see. Okay. Well, uh, th thank you for escorting my friends. Yeah, That's very kind of you. Sure. <laughs> Trying to signal to your friends. You guys hear a whistle. Oh, you're all muted. <laughs> oh, um. Do you think that's for us or for the animals? Hopefully the animals are gonna, I don't want to be whistled at. Think I, I do it? think that call was quite different. Yes, I should say so. You just hear somebody in the distance go, Hey, you guys! Oh, that, that, that right there, I think that, I think that means us. Okay. That's oh, it. Right. I'll walk over. I'll yeah, follow. Sure. You're you're fighting your way through like a stream of big, stupid mm. animals, huge animals, yeah. tall as tall as your torsos at least. These animals, mm. and they're big, and all they want is food and to move apart. <laughs> but you're like fighting your way, wedging through all of these animals, and you make it eventually to the road where you see Leaf on a rock and two of these ranchers on their gelt beetles. Ah, these Hello. your friends. Yeah, that's them. All right. Uh, you made it. Yeah, I did. Been waiting here a bit. Uh, I can see why it took you some time. You're walking with uh, these uh, the big old, big old dumb sacks of goo. Hey, now. Not you two. I mean, they the oh, flus. Oh, right, right, You're not oh, the right, big old okay. sack of goo. That's Good. not really nice. That one's called Samson, and that one's Mary. Oh. And I'll just start naming some you of them. You sweet but... thing. They don't, you don't give them names. <laughs> <laughs> you don't name them. <laughs> I, I feel like they would want names. Oh. And then I just, I just keep walking through. You just hear one of them muttering. I, I had a pet. I named my pet. My first pet flu when I was a kid. I was heartbroken when I had to take that thing. To flu and then the other ones. <laughs> I heard that happens on. Oh, I got y'all. I. That's a childhood memory right there. You you teach you the streams mix. The streams mix. unlocked. <laughs> yeah, it did right here on stream. I uh, Pippet uh, looks up in kinship and says, "I've heard that that's pretty normal. I think it's just a hard lesson you have to learn. Important, but hard. Sometimes to love is difficult." And I just kind of just ponder that for a little bit. Then I'll go back to just looking at the floops and I'll look at Leaf and say, I hope the, the journey was easy. Oh, it's a... I definitely got me out of breath at a number of places. Uh, but uh, other than that, it was pretty uneventful. Just had to kind of do a little bit of leaping and jumping over some obstacles, you know. The normal things. <laughs> uh, hope everything oh. was all right with all of you. Pyre's had a little trouble with some of the flus, but we made it. Wonderful. Well, them reds only a couple hours away. Well, 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 uh, well, 
well, well. You ever run flus before? What's your name? What'd you say your name was? Oh, sorry, I didn't say, uh, Leaf, son of Leaf. Leaf? Uh, Leaf, yeah. Yeah, all right, you some kind of tapper? That's exactly right. You you got it on first catch. Not Leafson, are you? Well, yes, Leaf, really? Leaf is my father. Oh, hot darn, I can't believe it. <laughs> how knew, how'd you know the Leafs? I knew your, uh, your, your uh, second cousin twice removed, probably. <laughs> oh, ton, yeah, Leafs. You, you three know how many Leafs there are out there? It's like, I swear, the further north you go, it's like half Leafs. <laughs> A couple of twigs here and there, though. <gasps> yeah, it's, uh, it's <laughs> why we... We tell stories about it sometimes. That's how many leaves we find up there. <laughs> More leaves than trees. <laughs> that's that's what my mother always said. How many leaves are there, Leaf? <laughs> well, it depends. It depends on the season. Anyway, uh, I hate to break this up, but we got to get to Lemurette now. <clears throat> so, you ever run flus before? No, I can't say I have. All right. Well, these. How many flus have you lost? The the do you three? You lost any? No. No, sir. Oh, None. Okay. They've been quite well I'm behaved. Gonna, I'm actually gonna make all of you roll a one d six. Just roll a one d six. I kind of put you know a little gumption in it. Susie and Mary have been <laughs> excellent. Ooh. Wow, pliers! I you never got a, lose anything. You got a six, huh? Grizz, yeah. you got a two. I can strip it. You got a keep one. In line. Actually, this is perfect. Yeah. So the number you rolled is how many flus you've lost. Yeah. What? Yeah. That's not how it works. You this changed it on the fly. No, this is perfect. Actually, the number you rolled is the number of flus you've lost. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't lose them. I set them free. <laughs> That's you don't, slavery. You don't send them free into the sesame or light. They're not that dumb. One of them's like nudging your pocket as you're saying it. Hey, hey. Nothing in there. They're kind of ugly, cute. You know? It's like, you ever have that relative? That don't make no sense. <laughs> had a baby and it was like so cute it was ugly? Or so ugly it was cute? Uh, yeah, that's, yeah that's... I had relatives like that. Anyway, yeah, exactly. Uh, that's exactly what's happening with these. Don't lose no flukes. more flukes. We're almost to the end. We've already lost like a quarter of them. All right, I think I do better with riding them. I'll, I'll, I'll just lay on top of one. I'll try to I anyway. I started looking around for Philip, which I'm assuming is the one I lost. <laughs> I say, Philip, Philip, guys, where's Philip? Philip is. I was is halfway to the north shore of Sesame Lake right now. <laughs> That's my Philip! problem. I, sometimes, I should have named them. Sometimes these flues have something happen inside their mushy brains where they just pick a direction and go and nothing. You can't even put them on the right course. They'll just go in whatever direction. It don't matter if there's if they see Indrid. Don't matter if they somebody whaps and cracks a, a, a whip at them. Don't matter. Nothing. They'll just keep right on going. Slow as, slow as can be. They'll just keep oh. on going. It's just flu of madness, you know? Flu of madness. Be safe, Philip! How many do you lose on average? Not a quarter. When you make a, yeah, that's, that's, this is normal. Yeah, oh yeah. Ah, that's very stupid, Well, huh? if you're trained, you can only, you, you, you only lose a quarter. For those untrained amongst us, uh, we tend to lose, you know. No, I, I get it. So you probably don't want me to be in charge of any of them then, cause... Well, as long as you four just stick together along the shoreline up there and uh, stay within earshot and make sure they don't wander too far, we should be all right. Oh, that's easy enough then. All right, well, uh, we'll whistle when we get close to Lemuret. You, uh, you four have fun wrangling them floobs. Don't lose any more and don't name them. Yeah! And they keep on going. <laughs> When they say that, I turn down to Susie and I say, they don't mean that, Susie. You're special. I thought that one was Susie. Mm. I'll, I'll move on across the... Or we're supposed to be going near the shoreline. All right, sure. Yeah, you're all trudging through the, the tall grasses. 
um, you make it all the way to the shores of the Sesamir Lake, and, uh, and it's, it's a little rocky, it's a little muddy, it's pretty wet, kind of smelly, you know, the way that, like, a wetland smells. You start to notice that it gets a little bit less dense of trees and more dense of, like, foliage and bushes, lots of fester berries, uh, lots of weird, strange plants that you've never seen before, uh, lots of bugs, lots of little bugs, you know? Um, but after a while, um, the shore starts to peter off, and you just keep on moving, trudging through the brush with the, all the flubes to your left, and just wilderness to your right. What do you do? Well, I do I'm my not whip crack trying sound. to lose anything. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. Grizz can make a whip crack sound, like, with your mouth. Oh. Do, you have to yeah. do it, though. Do it. <laughs> pretty good and i like i go close to the close to the water and i make my whip crack sound and then i throw fester berries in the direction that i want them to go oh smart they don't know to try to like herd them yeah yeah they have they leave them on the ground because they don't know how to eat them if you don't hand feed them so but they can see them though no they're like they don't they can't even they it does not (laughs) register that those are that those are edible whatsoever they are adorable though well then i'm just wasting my own time throwing them, chucking a handful of berries and, like, <laughs> scooching them. I wonder if I named them, if they would perhaps listen a little bit better. Um, uh, uh, Stick, um, uh, Jeremy, uh, um, uh, Gretchen, you can excuse all, me. You can all hear these names, too. <laughs> <laughs> Pippet, I'm not as good at this as you. Can you help me, please? Think about your favorite book and your favorite book characters, and then go from there. Oh, um, hmm. The... Franklin? Cartwright? You're Uh, almost there. Uh, um, um... One uh, more. Marv? Beautiful. (laughs) Franklin, Cartwright, Marv! Keep it moving! Yes. Come on, Susie. <laughs> Fantastic. Pliers, this is difficult for you, to say the least. Yep. What's uh what's going through Pliers' mind? You're struggling to keep up. Yeah, I'm I'm not thinking about these flutes. What are I'm just you like, thinking? Why about? am I always in these stupid situations? Why can't I just be in a lab somewhere at my own office, my own equipment? <sighs> Even Arcadia Farms is smelling better than this place right now. Mm, just complaining. Constantly. Yeah, for sure. I get it. <laughs> the whole monologue of complaints. I'll sure. try to keep up with I'll try to keep up with Pliers' last flu, assuming they didn't lose all of them. I shouldn't have. No, if there's they did, one. I'm minded one. I'm kicking okay. it. Okay. I will help with one that I I have named Pliers Jr. Oh no. <laughs> What describe, Come on, P. Junior. Describe Let's go. Pliers Junior. What describe what features of this flu of possessed course, you? Pliers Junior has a little like goggle. Like you know how like in real life we have Oculus bears, spectacle mm-hmm. bears. Mm-hmm. They have little Oculus like markings around their oh, okay. eyes. Okay, sure. Okay, it's really cute. Cute. Good. All right. Sure. The <laughs> so uh, yeah, the pliers, the pliers flu. Uh, Make me a. Can you make me another one d six roll? Uh, tip it. I can try. Is this one d six? How dupe dumb it is? <laughs> no, they're all they're all dumb. <laughs> you got to tell me what you got. All right, I got a three. Ooh, okay. Okay. Good. Right in the middle. Good. Not mad at yeah. that. Good. Middle. It doesn't die. Whoa! 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 First it doesn't. It it lives. (laughs) I'm glad it lives. Did it it hate the name so much that it was gonna die on impact? Like it it was just gonna pick a direction and go. It's got. They've all got. At some point, every flu gets (sighs) flu madness. Good. All right. Can I? I I am a biologist. Like this is just a natural thing that that I cannot like try to yeah. mitigate yeah absolutely 100 percent. it's just something yeah, that happens. got it yeah, just yeah. natural all right cool <laughs> moving well, on mushy they're goopy inside <laughs> got soft soft bones <laughs> 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 but they are adorable these, 
If any one of these should live, it should be Plyus, son of Plyus. <laughs> hey, that birthed that thing. Why has it got my name? I mean, my wait, you birthed it. My my father didn't birth me, but I'm yeah, leaf, son of leaf. Do you need me to let Excuse you know where you came from? No, no. Let me get no, a diagram you, out. Hold on. Do you understand the net? My father didn't birth me. That's these it's are more, where you came from. It's, it's more a circle. Of a, <laughs> There's two of them. It's like a ritual thing. You know, yeah. Leaf, when you were like, little. No, I know the process. I understand oh. that the but okay. the father it's, it's, doesn't it's normally more birth. Sentimental. It's sentimental. Yeah. If you're going through it, I go through it. You know what I mean? Like yeah, tomato, tomato. My, my father I've seen usually all sorts just... of things in the platelands. How did he birth? He was in the trees when my mother had me. I think. Well, I mean, everyone has their ways of doing it. It's true. No, I'm. While they're having this existential conversation, I'm just making sure that all of the flubes are gathered together. Yeah, no, they're definitely I'll, I'll together. I'll turn to Candace. I'll, I'll direct Candace as well. Okay, we gotta make the noise. Make the noise. Oh, oh. <clears throat> now, now, come please, this way. Don't, no, please, Marv, no. <laughs> We'll have to figure it out make how... It? Yeah, I, I think that's where we're close now. Hi, Pliers Jr. Be free. And then uh. I run away. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I think. Is, is, it, is it free? Is that the sound of freedom? <laughs> this is the sound, this is of, the sound of our freedom. <laughs> it's the sound of falling into an aqueduct and poisoning a village. That's what it is. They are adorable, ah. though. <laughs> they are adorable. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, so what do you do? You hear the whistle and what? I'd start going toward where they, the, the ranchers sure. would be. You find your way through, uh, through all these... Throughout, not just through flubes, but through like like tall brush and like some. Now you're getting more into some trees. You're all going. Yeah, so you're we all. Might as well. You're all yeah. just trying to make your way through these flubes, and you finally, finally make your way up to the road. And here you begin to see small settlements, tiny shacks, hovels, uh, little places of, of habitation you see some fields but just over the distance through the mist through the, the silken mist that's common in this region of the platelands you see a massive wall beyond this wall tall spindly looking buildings with strange looking concave walls that kind of balloon outwards into to pointed sort of platforms almost and in the center of all of this one structure rises far far above the others it is a massive massive spire it stretches an unfathomable height into the sky it is a queen song some of you may have seen this before. The Queen Song spires are a feature of most Kasat settlements. And strung between them all is a high tensile filament, a bundle of high tensile filaments, enabling near instant communication back to the capital. As you make your way on this flu run, Closer and closer to the gates, you begin to see the features of corpsmen. Different kinds of corpsmen, not ones you're familiar with. They have leather like straps over their shoulders. They've got uh, they've got tall hats with uh, some kind of shiny metal badges on their hats. They've got gloves, big workman gloves, boots. They've got straps and buckles and. Their uniforms are a little more pressed and a little nicer, doing patrols back and forth across the, uh, the, the settlements out here. And at last, you see gates spread wide open, and other ranchers are now converging with their own fluve runs, 
towards these massive gates for processing. And slowly but surely, through this muddled jam of floofs, you begin to make your way into the city of Lemeret. What do you do? I think the first thing that Grizz does as we kind of get closer and seeing the corpsmen, uh, they look at you, Leaf, and they point to the necklace around their neck. Would you like me to hold on to your money, or would you like me to give it to you? Apparently, it's against the law for me to hold on to your money, but if we pretend that it is mine and I spend it on you, I guess it couldn't hurt. I've given everyone else their share. Five oh. per piece. Uh, yeah, I guess it'd probably be a good idea for me to have some, because I currently have literally nothing. Perfect. And she takes five uh, saints off sure. her necklace and gives them to you. While it's, Thank you. While it's in Islis, are in the plate lands anyway, are uh, are worn on the outside of the body. There's uh, the currency in Islis is long, rectangular piece of metal, uh, usually uh, either a, a, a gent or a saint. And these two denominations of currency both have a like a, a cut drawn through the one end of them. So you can string uh, a strap through these saints and wear it on the outside of your body so that corpsmen can see at all times the amount of currency you have on your body. You are not allowed to have more than a certain amount of currency on you at any given time. Although, how are they going to know? Anyway, you've uh, given Leaf five saints. Now you all each have five saints. Is that right? Has anybody gotten saints before this? Does anybody have... A okay, yeah, right. Grizz and Pliers, you have saints. Because you mm -hmm. came to Arcadia Farms oh, yeah. with them. How much, money, how much money do you have, Pliers? Uh, <laughs> well, let me see here. I know it's a good bit. Where, where did I look? I have the inventory? Yeah, there we go. I have... Oh, holy and you crap. too, Chris. I have 15 saints and 10 gents. Mm. Mm. So that's one saint right there. So 16 saints. Nice. I have ten saints and four gen gents. Okay. Um. All right. Good to know. And you two just have five, right? Each Wait, what do you mean five. good to know? Never mind. Good I only have four saints and uh, <laughs> one floof. I got I got nine vouchers. <laughs> yeah, me too. I have one multi pass. <laughs> Hi, Rolla. All right. Uh, as you make your way closer and closer, the thrumming of the fluves is louder and louder and more, uh, more, uh, just, just <laughs> oh, louder for the sake of the fact that there are just more fluves, not because they're more agitated. It's about as agitated as they ever get. You end up getting, uh, up to a checkpoint and behind this checkpoint are two corpsmen and the ranchers in front of you have gone ahead of you to speak to the corpsmen. You can't quite make out what they're saying through the thrumming of floofs, but you can see that the, the ranchers are pointing back at you, the corpsmen regard you uh, momentarily, and the ranchers are, are kind of animated. What do you do? Uh, I'm just gonna follow whoever does the talking because apparently I'm annoying, so, you know. You, you didn't hear me say that. <laughs> no, the other, the, the kick it and, and dang it or whatever their name was. It's, it's kick it and bolt, just so that we yeah, all know. Yeah, kick it and bolt. Yeah, those two. On me annoying. You know, it was annoying their breath. That was annoying. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I'm, I'm, I want to, I just want to look around and see, see what this place is like, how it runs. I'm yeah. interested in how they get the dumb floofs to do stuff. Oh, actually, I don't want to see the process. Actually, never mind. Make me, uh, a, uh, make me a, make me a, what, what would it be? A mechanics or a lore check, whichever one you have. Ooh, you can all mechanics. make me a mechanics or a lore check. Mm, yeah. Whichever's greater. Where's my juicy mechanics? There it is. Tell me what you get. A 16 lore. Mm, wow. Nice. That's the second really good lore check you've made today. Let me make sure I'm doing this right. Doesn't that work? Oh. Oh, wow. Riz, what did you get? 
21 lore. <laughs> How? <laughs> Fantastic. Got an 11. Uh, I'm going to sit out. <laughs> <laughs> Ironically, Pippet's character is probably, would probably have read about this process at some point, but, uh, but you know, uh, you know, Grizz and Pliers both. You're both watching this intently because you've actually seen this process take place before. You know that upon entry, these flubes are funneled. That's what's happening now. They're funneled into a longer chamber, like a longer set of fence work and once they start getting funneled in they go into a uh a, like a catchment pen where the auction begins and you can even see in the distance grizz and pliers the expected um, activity there's a there's an auctioneer on an auction block who's auctioning off these flubes to whatever company is is paying for them um, mm -hmm. you can see notes being exchanged back and forth at like a note-taking auctioneer's table and just to the to the left of this, you can begin to see through the gates where you're standing. You begin to see the flubes making an even smaller single flube run uh, up a slight gradient up to somewhere you haven't you're not able to see. But the ranchers are uh, are finally done speaking with the with the corpsmen, and you hear one of them. <laughs> And they keep moving. And you follow? Yeah. 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 All right. And he's calling to us. Again, I don't know why he keeps whistling. You he can always say hi. <laughs> hey. Yeah. You begin yeah. you begin to walk further and further into the the checkpoint and the corpsmen sort of stare at you with sour looks on their faces. You can smell them. You, they smell different. They don't smell the same way that the corpsmen smelled in Arcadia Farms. In Arcadia Farms, it was mostly just the scent of like, of like, uh, just dirty, like old laundry and like just filth. But here, the scent is more like, it's more like, like, uh, like, it's like smoke. It's almost like the scent of a campfire, but spicy. The sun is getting a little bit lower. It's been quite a day. And you're making your way very slowly into the effluvium works. This is a large portion of Lemeret. The ground here is, uh, is a little bit more prepared. Like there's stone. You can see stone here. You can see... Uh, activity, wares, people set up little carts. There's carts everywhere. You can see uh, velocipedes, these uh, these human rickshaw devices with human drivers stationed up around looking to give people rides. The streets here are narrow and the amount of activity is a little bit um, a little bit anxiety-inducing for any of you who aren't used to it, like Leaf. The flubes are thrumming loudly, and the farmers make their way over to the auction table. Do you follow? Yeah, I do. Pivots, okay. are you going to be able to separate yourself from your flock, so to speak? It's the way of life. You raise them and then you let them go. You're not going to be letting them go. They're going to be slaughtered and turned into fuel. Yep, that's right. Well, that's just how this you works. You murdered yeah. them. How does, this is how everything runs. It's mm. well-known knowledge. We're all murderers. That's true. Flyers, you check the amount of effluvium in your effluvium core, the device that you use for your gadgetry. It is very low. Oh. Where's Flyers Jr. at? I need to have a talk with him. <laughs> the auction begins, and you see the ranchers ahead of you. You've met them now, and they're all kind of in a big crowd with the auctioneer up at the top, and the auctioneer is, is auctioning off flubes. And the ranchers turn to you and say, All right, so we just done got auctioned. Um, we 
have the choice to accept payment now for half the amount of money or we wait for the full amount in uh, net 60. Wait, what? Net 60. No, I mean, you, I didn't say that. What payment should, for what? You should accept half. You should, you should just accept that now. I think so. How much did we say we was paying you? I turn to Grizz immediately. Yeah, I look at the piece also. <sighs> I do saints. I think that uh, 20 to 24 saints would be more than enough to cover our services. Mm -hmm. All right. 20. 20 saints it is. Five for each of you. Thank you. All right. I'll go settle up over here. It might take me a minute. You feel free to wander. Yeah. Uh, Looking around, how how many saints can we have uh, here in Lamrid? While Dan is at, <laughs> while Leaf is asking that, I don't know who Dan is. Uh, I'll turn to, I'll turn to our guides and I'll just thank them profusely. Thank you so much for everything. We'll see you very soon. Good luck. Are you talking to the flubes? No, okay. no, uh, the guy, the guy. I, I wasn't guy. sure. Okay, all right, good. Kick it in, yeah, all of them. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They're just, they just wave you, wave you off. They're up. They're going up to the auction table to settle up, and awesome. uh, and you are surrounded by a by a bustling market with tons of wares. And at the center, the centerpiece of all of them is a huge cart pulled by an old kind of squat looking gelt beetle, but it's notable for having gas fluvium lighting there's it's illuminated with all of these violet bulbs and here you can you can uh, you just you just hear somebody some action taking place down here ladies and gentlemen uh, ladies and gentlemen step right up step right up that's not it. <laughs> That's not it. There it is. Ladies and gentlemen, step right up, gather around, gather around. Step right up and behold the miracle of the century. I present to you Dr. Totson's magical elixir, a cure-all tonic that'll have you feeling spry and hard, uh, hearty in no time. Now I know what you're thinking. Is it too good to be true? Well, I'm here to tell you that Dr. Totson's elixir is the real deal. A genuine concoction born from the tallest trees of the Tarkodlis forest to the farthest flung assertion hold. Imagine, if you will, a fine blend of spices and exotic ingredients, Campbelltone root and sarsaparilla nuts from the southern plate lands, vitamin-rich miasma from the healing pools of Delacra Torn. Why, this miracle elixir even contains a hint of rare oil from the wildly dangerous Cherngeist itself. Friends, this elixir is more than just a tonic. It is a life-changing experience. It'll cure what ails you, be it aches, pains, ruin, in lumen, rain fever, or the common cold. Bone worms will find a new home at the first whiff of my elixir. It'll put a pep back in your step. It'll put a twinkle in your eye and a smile on your face. Say goodbye to fatigue and hello to boundless energy because it doubles as a liniment that'll have you feeling nimble as a doska, spry as a skitter. Get your bottle today and let the magic begin. Remember, if it's not Doc Totson's, it's just ordinary guy oil. You hear the crowd erupting in applause. There's a small crowd around this 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 cart now. They're yeah, whoa! There, there's a um, there's a, like a little platter being t passed around with samples. Step right up, free samples, free samples. I don't mean to be a buzzkill, but that seems like it does rather a lot of things, doesn't it? Are, are you talking Quite. <laughs> My yep. companions. Oh, oh, you're talking to us. Yep. Okay, I assumed you oh, were yeah. talking to us. But I was. Yes. I, I, I listen to all of these, like, additives, and I don't know if I can place any any concoction that can do that. Yeah, make, me, make me a biology check. Love it. 
The DM knows what I want. Yes. I'll All do the right. dice know. Mm. They better. <laughs> they better. All right. That is a 20. Wow. All right. Yeah, you've spent a long time studying the farthest reaches of Islis, and you've never heard of a churn geist before. I don't even know what a churn geist is. We should probably stay away from that. Hmm. Can we uh. see the person that cl- proclaims to be uh, Dr. Totson? Oh yeah. Like yeah, what yeah. do they look like? Absolutely. They're uh, they're young. They're uh, they're they're attractive. They've got a, a fashionable uh, robe on, like a like a fashionable cassette that looks. It's not cassette filament, but it's made to look like it. They've got a sash. They've got uh, they've got a, a platter, long sleeves, and just like uh, adorned with uh, just ornaments. They've got a big special hat on you've never seen before. They look, for all intents and purposes, like someone who probably knows a thing or two about medicine. Did you say they have free samples? Oh yeah, they're passing them around. <laughs> yeah, grab one. Experimentations. Where yeah, are you trying to pivot? You come up, you make your way up to the front. Ooh, oh, yeah. Who's, going to, who's going to grab a Hell sample? Yeah, I'm going up to the front. They say free, free is my middle, last, and first grandpa's name. <laughs> pliers free, 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 free pliers to free. Mm-hmm. I, I will walk follow up. pliers up and study the effects. All right, yeah, sure. Pip- well, I'm not drinking it. I'm just getting a bottle. Oh, even better. I have something better to do with it. I'll rub my hands together and I'll be like, hey, hey, you said free. Hey, down here. You see, lower. you see a, a woman in the front, an older woman, clearly suffering from the same ailment that you're all familiar with, rain fever, the same ailment that you saw, um, that you saw, um, oh my God. <laughs> I'm completely blanking on his name. Ingman, that you saw Ingman with. Just oh, ew. absolutely just glistening. There's mucus from every Ooh. every pore. Their like eyes are watering. You can even see some like discharge from their ears. Jesus, man, we need a shower. This or something. poor woman was a subject and host to a terrible disease, an affliction that affects most of us at one time or another. Rain fever. With one drop of my elixir, watch this woman be cured. Ooh, ooh, and you ooh, see, you see her take a like a like a little, like a little swig of this elixir, and uh, and suddenly, she takes a, a, a rag and wipes her face, and now she's fine. She's like completely fine. Uh. Can I, as someone who knows like dissembling, and faking, can I roll detect to see if I get the vibe that this is just smoke and mirrors like makeup yeah let me see what you're let me see what you what you have here <laughs> hip it just yells impossible doubters <laughs> believers one and all it'll cure all your ails you don't have to believe it because it's true i start <laughs> muttering all the different ways to treat like this fever 21. and i'm just 20 perfect. you wrote me a, a detect check for 21 yeah, uh, you notice that the uh, that the, the woman has like you you've in your experience with rain fever you've never seen discharge from someone's ears before. I look at that and I just kind of whisper to everyone, "That's nonsense. It's all just a bunch of guff. It's bullshit." Excuse me. You hear people. Oh. You hear people, all by one, all by two. Step right up, step right up. Mm. Free samples. Do you do you go for a free sample, pliers? I'm not gonna drink it. I just want a bottle, like a free bottle of it. Yeah, you just through the crowd, you see pliers' little hands grabbing, (laughs) grabbing through the crowd, trying to get a free (laughs) sample. I'd like to get a look at this stuff myself too. Yeah, Yeah, get some pliers. Yeah, give me two, two, two samples. Yeah, yeah. You, uh, oh. you do, you do manage. Oh. To, I'm just to like... <laughs> swipe a, a sample off of this, this platter. Yeah, everybody's, I'm take every, it back everybody's trying to clamor for a sample. Limited God. supply, come right up, step right up, be cured. 
and you grab one. It's a really tiny bottle, much smaller. It's all I need. Much, much smaller. It's not glass, it's wooden. It's like a wooden container, and you oh. un you uncork it. Mm. It's got... Oh. Did you drink it? No! Oh, okay. Popping a cork. <laughs> you see the, 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 the little label on the front with, like, this elaborate geometric design it just says doc totsons mm. and big letters and miracle elixir under it with like some some dubious claims about its uh, abilities yeah oh we cork i it. No. smell it and i should be if it is any any like form of vitriol or concoction i should be able to identify it you have an ability for them i do and i can ping it for you yeah right here in my character sheet Give me just a second. All right. So my ability is specialized senses. And I, there we go, I'm gonna share it. I think that shared yeah, it, I hope. There it is. Awesome. Specialized, you have an ability called specialized senses. You can automatically detect and identify any vitriols or concoctions. Yeah, uh, you detect neither. <laughs> That's what I figured, okay. None of these things are any material I've seen in any professional lab. In fact, it smells- Any a pocket. In yeah. fact, it smells like piss. Like, it just smells terrible. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh. Whoa! Don't- oh. Don't drink that. No, no, I'm, no. I'm absolutely sure that is just urine. Oh, that's it boring. It smells like piss, but yeah, totally. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, no, I like it that better. Something... It's urine. <laughs> 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 oh, that's boring. I thought it was gonna be oh, something God. cool. <laughs> is, it, is it just flu flu piece? <laughs> oh, Who knows? Man. Who knows? <laughs> let's let's take Perhaps it back to we your need to lab. Move on. Well, I want to use I, I want to use yes. slut in it. You can do see whatever what concocting you would like later, but I feel like we yeah, just got now. to the city. It seems a bit premature to make enemies out of this. Snake oil salesman, geist oh, yeah, oil no. salesman, whatever he would is. Would I, would I be able, oh, mm. I don't know if I have any vitriols or concoctions in my bag. Let me see. But I, I feel like Pippin would want to kind of stop this just personally. Like their whole job is helping people yeah. in need. And it's just, sure. go, it goes against like their sanctity. Okay. So, I would is so would I be able to take something from my bag and just show the crowd that this is? I try to disprove them basically, but um, I, I got to speak to their level. I can't do like some chemical reactions and be like, ah, like I got to show something that works. Uh, well, so crafting? Are you talking about crafting something? Because it would take a little no, longer. Just, no, no, just using whatever I have in my bag to disprove, like, yeah, y'all, this is not it. What do you have like, in I your had, bag? Like, a, <laughs> do you have anything? Great of, question. Do you have anything of use in there? I've got venom, but I don't know if that's smart to pull out. Probably uh, not. Yeah, probably not. Right? <laughs> uh, now, of course, I've got, like, my smelling salts, and that's really all I have chemically. Yeah, I don't think you have, uh, I don't think you have anything in there. All I help. could do is just be like, y'all, this isn't how it works, and try to convince them that I'm a professional. Yeah, I uh, mean, you, you can, you could try. Do you want to do that? Yeah, I do, okay. I, and I have Persuasion Human, so Go for it. I make me a, Make me a Persuasion Human check. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a doctor, everyone. And this is not correct. And I'll go to roll and Ooh, you can start to hear some works. of the crowd like, oh, oh I God. see we have a disbeliever. Oh, no. <laughs> 16. Did that do something? I see we have a disbeliever in the crowd. Please step right up, disbeliever. What is your name? Uh -oh. I'll stay right here, but I'll move to the front of the stage. Just so I can command from my position on I my turn. I can't turf. quite hear you. Step right. You up. can hear me just fine. Yep. You know you're peddling nonsense. Look at this here. This is just urine. That is a common feature in many towns that I've been to from the farthest reaches of the of Lacertian Holds all the way to the northern reaches of the Tarkotlis. Uh, that common. we have. 
constantly faced disbelievers. Now take oh. one look at our ingredients list and you will find a multitude of vitamin rich ingredients to enhance and en enjoy. I stop them right there and I say, do you even know what a Lassertion looks like? Um, I look and I say, I've seen Lassertions on my assignments. They are not to be trifled with, and I do not appreciate this illusion. This is serious work. You're, this is serious, serious, just malpractice you're you're doing here. And and I'll I'll just wow. I'll pull out my medical kit, and I'll say, science is real practice. It takes time. You can't just throw it out here in the field, peddling it like some common trinket. And yeah, I'll just rant, and uh, I'll y'all y'all probably gonna have to stop me because I, that made me no, really upset. I'm not stopping anything. I'm like, yeah, yeah, tell it, sister. You you see with this role, you see like a like a large number of this crowd now beginning to beginning to wane and start uh start. Smell sounding. it, smell it, smell. S tell me that that doesn't smell like. Urine. Some I'm people, like, yeah, use your common sense, people. Some people in the crowd who this have is a cure. who have it, zip, are... unzip my pants. <gasps> what? <laughs> I don't do anything. I just be like, I got a cure too. Zip. Oh no! Pliers <laughs> in the moment. What can I say? <laughs> now sick. the crowd is just confused. <laughs> Drink this. No, I was kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. And honestly, I'd be like, that is unacceptable. I'd turn to the stage. I think with pliers, your, thing. your, your concoction it's is exhibited. driving my member to my party member to madness. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> when pliers is thing, control myself. When pliers is thing. Uh, uh, you, yeah. you, it's undermined a lot of this. A handful of people walk away, but. Most of them are pretty content to just keep this buying it. I'm happy <laughs> that Pliers' distraction actually did what I wanted it to do, was get people away from this place. <laughs> just get them away. <laughs> uh, I'm concocting. I'm concocting. I'm just grabbing out. <laughs> oh, my God. You hear in the distance. You hear a... Uh, oh. oh, wow. Oh, I just tried. I answer that for that point. <laughs> All right, well, uh, I think that's that's the, the cue for us to go back and maybe get paid. And Shame on you. Shame on I'll, you. I'll, and I'll, I'll pull Pippet. I'll still walk back. Probably in the distance, you just hear, ladies and gentlemen, gather it. around, gather around. Not in the distance, yeah. <laughs> but the, Is it really but, pee? But as you're, yeah. as you're being pulled away, Pippet, you do lock eyes with this person, and you know you understand for a moment that they know your face now. <laughs> I yeah. try to do you do mentally. one of those? You do one of those? Absolutely. You do like the little little finger <laughs> eye fingers? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they just smile at you and, and keep on step right up, step right up to the crowd. Yeah, so you make oh, you make your way back to the auction table and the uh the the um the two, you know, ranchers. Alright, so I done got your uh got your saints right here. I'm about to go blow it on some elixir. Have a good, uh, you know, whatever you're doing here in Lamaret, and uh, maybe we'll meet again. Don't, drink Don't that spend stuff. your money on that. Mm -hmm. I can't hear you. It's I'm already urine. halfway there. Oh, <laughs> Lord. Well, that explains a lot, actually. Wait, wait. <sighs> How Some people just don't learn. We'll be well, right, about we'll be right back no. with the second half of Isla's episode 16 right after this don't go anywhere we'll be right back hello everyone we're back with islis my name is veronica ripley creator of islis and i'm very happy to have you here uh please if you're listening to the podcast uh make sure that you know that we stream the show live every friday at noon pacific here at twitch.tv slash fable scraps and you can find all of our vods on youtube uh, and Twitch, and you can check out our merch store where we have another exclusive podcast called Leftovers, where we, it's like a behind the scenes podcast where we do like a little interview with the cast and like a little, uh, a little how the episode is made. And I'm considering adding show notes to that as well. So I think, I think those of you who are supporters in the merch store are going to start getting, uh, are going to start getting some show notes too. Now, without further ado, 
Cell has just arrived in Lemuret. They received five, what, some some number of saints each. How many, how many saints did everybody get? Five each? Yeah, five you each. The, you want the truth or you want, you want <laughs> the, the actual? <laughs> now I need how many saints you have in total. And whether I, you are displaying them all. Nope. I never display my saints. I'm broke. broke uh, I broke. I was fraternity. I was trying to ask. I don't know if I don't think I got an answer mm. to what what the legal amount to have here is. And maybe if I look around, I'd like to see how many people are displaying like the highest amount on a person. Most of the people here don't have more than five or six saints on their wallet, which is again like a little string on a yeah on their outside Any, person. Anyone with ten or more. Um, you don't see, you, you do see a handful of people with ten or more, but they're few. Okay, I just wanted to see if they're walking around with ten or more, then I'll feel comfortable having the ten uh, around my neck, so I will do so and display that. Okay, sure. So, do you all follow suit? Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll display five around my neck, my neck. I'll be displaying mine as well. Why not? If, if that's the trending fashion here, strange as he may be. Yeah, but where are you putting? Where are you putting the others? I have if compartments. You're only five around your neck. <sighs> compartments. Yep. Explain. Explain. I have a utility thing with Bobbit that I keep my jagagabers in. What? You know, I'm a, mecha- <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a mechanic. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna just have a regular old. old Whatever kind of fluvian wallet. So you wallets. have a pocket, is what you're saying. You have a pocket. Something like that. <laughs> okay. Might be an inside pocket. So for those of you who are playing the game at home, there is a there is a modification you can get to your body that will allow you to uh, conceal small mm-hmm. items like currency. So it is called compartments. So I was wondering if you had that. Yeah, uh, I had a compartment. It's um, it's a device that will you can implant subdermally, and it creates a. a uh, like a fissure on your skin where you can put things inside of like a pocket in your skin. Um, it's deeply uncomfortable, so you can't put a whole lot of stuff in there. Oh, well, yeah. But, uh, none of you I'm have a that. I'm biomechanic. Biomechanic, man. You can, you can craft ex- uh, advanced or ex- expensive prosthetics. Yeah, I don't think you have compartments. But, but I you will do have create a pocket. <laughs> yep. All right, cool. So you're all putting the, just the maximum amount of saints on your wallet. Ten saints each. Okay. Something like that. Sure. Yeah. Uh, all right. So uh, you're here. You're out in uh, this courtyard where there are barkers selling uh, dubious medical devices. You can see people selling small bits of food, like food carts. You can see people selling wares, uh, exotic plants and... Uh, somebody with just a whole barrel of some kind of creature. Um, they're really close to you. You guys can take a look if you want. Oh, yeah. Yeah, all right. So you... Look, barrel of something weird, absolutely. You, Leaf, you walk over to the lady with the barrel. Oh, yeah. All right, sure. (laughs) Yeah, the lady lady with the barrel. Uh, she says, do you, do you, are you allergic? Yeah, to what? Oscar. Oh, oh, it's one of those things. The weird, like, that was the weird cat thing in the, uh, the, the, the medical store, right? You peek inside this barrel, and what stares back at you from the black, just darkness inside are just dozens of tiny, like, of, of, of tiny bodies with humongous eyes, and they're all staring at you all at once ref- highly reflective in the sun and it's pretty much all you can see in there these were like half domesticated right if I remember correctly like i say half because they're they are feral but they also are not um are you asking this for the woman <laughs> Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> they're, they're, they're like half domesticated, yeah? You don't, you don't, uh, you, you don't believe anybody who tells you that they're feral, okay? I have probably 15 at home, and I, I just take in the strays, okay? So there's like a lot, you know, of them on the streets sometimes, but it's just because people don't love them enough, you know? Like, if people love them more, then 
you know, you know. Yeah, how many how many bite marks and scratch marks does all over she it. have all, all over? over. Yeah, all okay, over. Especially yeah, her I don't arms. Even... <laughs> she has a uh, you can she she doesn't have like bare legs, but her clothes are like torn at her shins. You know. Yeah, yeah. Seek help. <laughs> eh. How how much? She's Not... look. She she looks down at your wallet and says, 10, 10 saints." Yeah, no, and I just turn away. Five, five saints, five saints. <laughs> I keep walking. <laughs> One saint. Stop. <laughs> and look at the rest. Of the... Do we want a little? Do we want a dusk, a friend? If you can control it and have it attack people for us, I'd love one. You have. If to you feed don't, it. pliers will use it for samples. Oh yeah, actually, hmm. it's got two in its keep, so to speak. Oh. I hate that idea, but I, I do like the little tiny creature that could be all slashy. What the- uh, turn around, dude. What do they eat? Whatever they want. I, what do you feed them? Whatever they want. How do they tell you what they want? She just shrugs. <laughs> do they eat plants? Sometimes. Yeah. Uh. How uh how how angry are the little baby ones? Oh, they're very sweet. They're very very sweet. How do they show affection? You know, like Tosca. Yeah, they kind of point at their arms like that. Oh, that's just from them. They like to climb. They like climbing. They like climbing. Oh, so do you leave? Maybe that's a good friend for you. Well, that's what I was actually kind of thinking is that... Uh, you know what? Yeah, and I, I, I hand over a saint. And knowing you, I'm probably getting ripped off, you but... See her, you see her scratching her neck, too? She's just, like, scratching all over. <laughs> are, you, are you allergic to them? No, no, I'm not allergic. I just I, I have a lot, a lot of Doska. It's had a litter, so... Anyway, take your pick. Okay, I look in. Uh, I would love to see which one looks the most docile of all of them. It's difficult to say because before you look into the barrel, you can hear. But as soon as you peer your head over, it's just eyes, just dozens of huge yellow eyes. Is. Hmm. Yeah. Hey. Oh, I haven't. Okay. They're all I, looking I, at you. Uh, yeah, yeah. Is okay. Every single one, not one, is looking away from me. No, they're all. You looking shouldn't at stick you. your arm in there. I know. I'm not thinking about it. Pippin, uh, will you? Pippin, will you roll me a biology check? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I'm so happy to roll this biology check. All right. Let's see what we get. 19. Hmm. Ah. Uh, yeah, fantastic. You, um, you see this woman and her symptoms, and they seem really, uh, they seem really, uh, consistent with a, with a, like, a low like a low form of sickness. You think that this woman might be coming down with something. Uh, it's either fetters or maybe quill pox. Uh, so she's infectious? Uh, no. No? No. Just casually, no. No. Not, I... Not really. Not really. I, uh, approach this person and I'll say you really need to get checked out. You don't look so good. I'm just selling the Daska so I can afford a miracle elixir. I heard a bunch of people saying there's a miracle elixir so I'm just gonna go. A miracle elixir? You're trying to buy that? <sighs> Let me take a look at you. And I'll look them over just thoroughly and I want to see if I can treat this myself. Yeah, totally. Um, 
You've identified this illness as quillpox. It's not one that you're super familiar with, but you have seen it before. It's a it's a, a, a type of disease that gives like a really bunch of painful blisters on the skin and pustules. And if it goes untreated for too long, they become uh, they start growing keratin inside of these pustules, and the keratin oh. starts poking out um, yeah. of them yeah. and like quills. Uh, okay, it happens cool. all over the body, and it's uh, it's very painful. I I believe it. Yeah, that that sounds. That sounds awful. I'm assuming I can't use any of my other abilities because I think I only have one or maybe a few. Oh, no. No, 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 no. I could I could take some time and craft some vitriols or curatives. Uh, yeah, so pharmaco- yeah, let me share this. You can use a simple biology tech to identify the cause of an illness. Uh, medicine is the most form- effective and efficient treatment. Uh, but if you don't have any medicine at hand, uh, you can attempt a first aid check. And oh, lit. Okay. Yeah, so you have to make a DC of 25 for quill pops. Oh. oh, God. Uh, if I take the time to try to craft something for later, mm-hmm. could I just... I'll, I'll tell them I'll meet them. I'll, I'll come back with something. Um, That's what I'll tell her, yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, you, you, can, you can come back, sure. I might not be here. I'm going to try and make as much money as I can for the... Uh, you know. When is your shop closing? It's not closing. It closes when I sell all the Daska. <laughs> I look down at how many Daska that they have. Dozens. I figured. I'll be back. <laughs> and I'll start on my journey to, if I see things that I find valuable and like, uh, like creating any curatives or just stocking, like if I find any actual medicines, that's what I'll keep my eye out for in okay. the shop. Sure. And Leaf, you, uh... <laughs> You're still gonna buy one of these things? Oh, I'm def. Oh, I mean, I already handed her the saint. Uh, hey, 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 Grease. You're good with animals. Am but, I? I, I mean, you were talking to the fluves, and you, you ended up yes. calming down some of them at one point. Aren't? Uh, are you not good with animals? Uh, I, I suppose I am good at speaking to them and persuading them. Yes. Would you like me to? Do you want to find? To yeah, find friend. one that maybe is uh, the most uh, n- not bitey. Hmm. All right. Um. <clears throat> Hello, uh, Duska. I um. Please let me know which of you is the most ferocious. I want to see all your teeth and claws, and whoever is the zestiest among you. Uh, oh, I see what you're doing there, yeah. You see them become a little bit agitated, and some of them start blinking as some of them are begin to move, and you begin to understand that like they're trying to like like step on each other's heads to get up closer. <laughs> And that's why the the light the light from their eyes is going out because they're like blinking because there's a there's like another Doska leg on top of them. And after a tussle, you begin to see one Doska uh, make its way, not by stepping on top of the others, but by climbing along the outside of the like the, the inside of the barrel along the cloth. Ooh! So there is there is a Doska so- that's made it up on top of this pile, and then there's another Doska that's taken a different way. So, Leaf, um, that one that's on top of the pile does seem the meanest. Quite spicy. Ill-tempered. But this one looks, um, rather smart. The one that didn't have a yard. The smart one might be good, because at least then it might understand that you don't bite the hand that feeds you, yeah? I think so. <laughs> the woman Excuse just me, um... <laughs> A smallish Doska, um, thank you very much for uh, doing what I asked. Would you be so kind as to extend a paw to your new friend Leaf and um, do not bite hard? They, they actually understand you. That's very cool. <laughs> which which one are you I saying? Th- I think to? so. The one that's really smart that took the other way around. Oh, okay, sure. Uh, you see it lean its, like, angle its eyes back towards the, uh, the woman who's just like, go, go, go. And the, you, you just hear, and before you even really have a chance to react, it leaps out of the barrel and just attaches itself 
to your shoulder. It's like little claws are digging into you. And for the first time in the daylight, you see a, a Doska briefly. It's long form. It's, it's, it's arms a little bit too long. It's legs a little bit too long, but it's claws even longer than they should be. It's got a, a long kind of muzzle and huge yellow eyes. And it's got webbing from its forearms all the way down to its hind legs. Another flying creature. Okay, I like that all of a sudden. Yeah, so it's just kind of sitting there, like, chilling on my shoulder now. It's sniffing you. You can hear... And it's uh, trying to, like, encircle you. It's trying to get under your hair. It realizes you don't have the same hair as this woman, so it's, like, trying to find a place to hide on your body. Is there a place to hide on your body? Uh, Because if there's not, it's going in your clothes. Yeah, I mean... We've got those, like, loose robes, like, around the, the like, wingsuit uh, gliders. Yeah, sure. So, if anything, there's probably, like, a, like loose clothing, like, on the shoulders with clothing underneath it, so. Yeah, yeah it, it finds a crevice and just begins to burrow its way into your clothes with no regard to your neck skin, so you're, you're a little bit yeah, fresh. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, it's not as bad. It's not as bad as the thorns on the trees. Um, Let's right. close, please. We're not yeah. as tough as you. Y'all have to give it a name. I'll think on it, but I'll have one very soon. For now, and I just kind of pat the lump on my shoulder. <laughs> like, Don't take too long. It'll get used to being called it. Right, I, I'll definitely figure it out quickly. Probably need to get more rations and things. Uh, where are we going? You see, uh... You see the woman just... Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh... Doska! Doska for sale! She's just walking around with the barrel. But as she's leaving, out of the corner of your eye, uh, Pippet, you see... Uh, something. You see, like, somebody moving start moving as soon as the uh, as soon as you notice them when all of a sudden the sound starts where's that coming from you can feel it if you feel it first from your like your bones like inside of you uh but you you notice that there's big plumes of black smoke now emanating puffing coughing out this miasma from the from the, the, the building just behind this auction house. And now for the first time you realize that the flu run you saw before that was going up a gradient now snakes around in a whole uh, loading dock kind of area and it's going up further and further and the flues are getting tighter and tighter on this gangway. Down into a single file line you can hear the thrumming of hundreds, maybe thousands of flues and they're all going into a uh some kind of a uh some kind of a, a, a receiving dock there's a big uh a big hanging uh, like hanging bit over the front and just darkness inside there's only space enough for flubes the rest of the building featureless and mm. uh and around the side of it is a, a small shop labeled effluvium works uh like tank refill and just the whole the building up front just says uh, just ret works effluvium uh, ret, ret works effluvium works. Or ret works effluvium, yeah. Ret, ret works effluvium. I point it out to the party and I'll say, I think we can see where our flubes are going. Well, ah, their well, flubes. Just, yeah, that's are going. the same brand as that was on the fluve. Yeah. Okay. Ah. That must be where they process them. But I saw somebody moving, didn't I? You, you think? Do did I catch a glimpse of them? Not really. Oh, uh, seeing um, things. While we're looking around and Pippet's trying to guess what's going on, um, do I see a shop of any or like a stand stall of any sort that has fluvian fuel? Yeah, you see that the refillery, the effluvium refillery. Hey, I need a, a refill me up, you know what I mean? Maybe they sell some effluvium there. Yeah, I can use some. And maybe I'll get an extra one, just in case. Um, 
Uh, let's uh, walk over there. Uh, and I'll uh, head towards the refiller. I'll accompany pliers. Sure. Eats. But I'll kind of glance over my shoulder every once in a while. Yeah. Uh, you make your way over to the the the, the refillery. The effluvium refillery. It's at the base of this massive structure, and uh, it appears to be just a whole lot of spigots. Uh, special little enclaves are designated, just about a, a, a few particular sizes. There's several. They go from large to, to really small. And there's one person here. And they... Well, welcome! Welcome to the Redworks Fluvium Works. Uh, welcome, everybody. Welcome. Uh, hi. Mm-hmm. Yeah, hello. Hi. Uh, mm-hmm. My name's Ten. Hello. Uh, welcome. Welcome. Do you uh, need something refilled? You do. I know you do. <laughs> Pointing at you, players. Oh. How do you know that I do? Like, oh, just you? All, just the, the lens attic you've got. Oh, okay, yeah. All right. I'm just making sure. I'm just I forget like, when I'm wearing mine, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll spend hours. Day, another... Where's my lens attic? It's, it's right here. Yeah, exactly, exactly. It's all yeah. Just keep forgetting. Sometimes I think I misplace it, but it just stays on my face. There you go. Do you have a Redworks? Uh, do you have a Redworks core with you? Do I what? A Redworks core, an effluvium core. Yeah. That's how I do my gadgeteering. What do you pull? Do you pull out uh, a, a, an effluvium core? I don't know if I should do that. I don't trust these people. Um, <laughs> can I just get the fuel and put it in myself? I'm afraid this is the Retworks refuelery. We only accept Retworks canisters here. Oh, I see. But if you don't have a, uh, a Retworks canister, that's that's perfectly fine. I'm, I'm sure we can see to giving you one at a, at a steep discount. Oh, steep discount, huh? That's right. Mm. What's... Uh... What's the steep discount? Wait, well, first, why? Well, because you can only fill up a Redworks canister here at Redworks. Well, that's, that's not good. Um, so you don't sell the fuel f- separately? Well, no. Uh, but it, once you get a canister, you could use it again. Once it's empty. That means I would have to come back here and refill it up. No, no, no. no. We have, uh, we have refilleries everywhere. Oh. And I looked at Pippin. How long do we plan on staying in this area? I'm not really sure, but if you need to fill up now, now's the time. Yeah. All right, fine. How, well, what's the damage? Uh, well, so normally these canisters, I'll have you know, go for five saints. But, but because the Legion Fair is in town, we're lowering the price for the duration of the fair. Uh, down to one saint. It can be yours. A canister and one saint to fill it up. Oh. Like one saint and a canister get to fill both for one saint? That's right. Oh. Let me smell it. You sure about that? Yeah. They're quite sure. Come on. These nostrils aren't going to sniff themselves. Let's do a little check here really quickly. Hang on. <laughs> Uh, Can I also note I have, that I, knowing I that biology. someone was following? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, That's you okay. can absolutely make a note of that. I I want to make a note of the fact that I know someone was following Pippet. Absolutely, yeah. So I think Grizz has their head on a swivel, like looking around, seeing if there's oh. anybody, like skulking. Okay. Oh, and uh, mm-hmm. I mean. I've still got my wonderful, I can't be surprised. <laughs> so, if someone's following us trying to hide, I'm I'm pretty aware of it. Sure. Um, you don't feel like anybody's watching you now. Okay. Fair um, night. But there's three sizes of effluvium canisters. We can give you, uh, we can give you a small one uh, for one saint. Uh, they range from tiny, small, and large. Wait, what happened to the, the one between small and large? They, excuse me? What happened to the one between small and large? Uh, Tip- um, <laughs> uh, I see. You're being funny. <laughs> uh, uh, um, okay. Um, how large is large? Well, um, 
a large uh, a, a large one is well here's one right here and uh, they oh, point thank you. They, well, no, 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 they point to in the corner there's a it's like um it's, oh, a, it's like a sphere yeah it's huge it's a big sphere oh. and it holds effluvium and it can be refilled but it takes like 30 minutes to fill it yeah i don't want that that thing that's huge what am I gonna do with that, huh? Well, Everybody's gonna look at me and be like, large. "What are you?" Yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'll take the me small. All right. Medium. Yeah. <laughs> the medium is, is effluvium. Yeah, yeah. Let me do that. Oh, Red the small. works effluvium. Well, I'm trying to be efficient here, you know. Certainly. Okay. Certainly. What uh, if I had two smalls? Then I could really get some stuff done. Well, you know you can, I'm gonna try one small. How long is this discount gonna be on? Uh, well, through the Legion Fair. How long is that? Well, the Legion Fair starts in three days. Three days or two. One of them. And it lasts for. Uh, lasts for a, a couple of days, I think. Oh. Hmm. Hey, Pip. Do you think I should be? Should I, should I get two smalls? Or is that overkill? Because I could just refill it with one. But if I have two, hmm. you know? You could get a tiny one, too, for anything that might require Ooh, a it. a small and a tiny. Oh. Tiny it's ones are only... It's always good to have redundancy. That's right. Mm -hmm. Listen to your friend. The tiny ones are only 15 gents. I look at you, though, pliers, and I'll whisper, within reason. All oh, right. Redundancy right. within reason. Mm, right, right. Only if you can afford it. If anyone can afford it, it's definitely pliers. <laughs> yeah. I know. <laughs> I just don't like. I feel like a bad deal is bad for everybody all around. Yeah. You know what? I'm going to take a small and if I enjoy it, I'll come back before the fair is done and get me another one. Well, I have no doubts that you will love Retworks Effluvium. Uh, so that's a small and a tiny. That's just a small. Just a small. And don't call me tiny. <laughs> You're so funny. <laughs> uh, certainly. Uh, so that's one saint for the canister and one saint to fill it up. Wait, wait, wait. Now I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm just going to start backing up backtrack a little bit. I asked specifically if you're going to give me the canister and the refill for one saint. And you said, yeah. Um, I said, man, that's a deal. Well, the canisters alone are, are, are normally five cents. <laughs> Uh, saints. Mm hmm Well, so, uh, that's not what we heard. We yeah. heard one canister and a refill for one saint. Yeah, oh, I was like, man, what a deal. Me, I'll buy two. Go ahead See? and make me a persuasion human check. I will do that because that's me. <laughs> All right. You're talking to go. a vet. Yeah, it's Veterans Day. There should be a veterans discount. Just saying. Oh my goodness. Okay. Let's see what we get here. Oh my god. Well. 19. All right. Well, since you folks are new in town, I suppose, I will make an exception. You may have a small effluvium core. Mm-hmm. And? And it's full of Retworks Effluvium. Please come again. And I'll like, take off a saint around my neck specifically and uh, slide it on the counter nice and slow and be like, you know what? That saint right there, it's been through a lot. Yep. I'm sure. Lucky saint. Takes the saint. And I'll, take, I'll take my effluvium and I'll smell it. Uh. <sighs> Mechanic just uncapped uh, the effluvium right here. Yeah. Yep. I gotta make sure it is not piss. You know, there's a bun. There's a per someone selling something that smells just like this over there called an elixir. On the outside of an effluvium core, there's a small gauge, and it's a it's like a it seems to be a liquid gauge, and it looks to be glowing. Um, the liquid gauge is a measurement of like the, the density of the effluvium inside and it's gone mm -hmm. down drastically like since you've opened it in here oh, oh i need another one well that's another this one is uh, one more. uh this one's defective you're gonna put the cap back on it maybe what? does it go back up <laughs> it does when you refill it would you like okay. us to refill it for a saint 
Well, I mean, no, because this is defective. Uh, I'm afraid not. I'll roll for it if you want me to. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you're going to be able to get your way out of that one, actually. <laughs> Having opened it directly in front of him. Well, you know, you didn't say anything about me smelling. This is how I tested it back home. You got to smell what you're working with. Well, you know? I assure you that it is of uh, sufficient quality. Uh... <clears throat> well, you know what? Since you're such a nice person, I'll loan you a saint. And then when I come pick up my other one, you'll give it to me. And I'll pop another one off and slide it to me. Thank you for the saint. You may refill wait, your... Wait, wait, wait. And now I'll go in my jacket pocket, pull out my contract, and let... Roll it out. Yeah. You sign right there, there, and there, and uh, there. They step back away from the counter, and they just raise their hand up to a sign behind them. Uh, it's one that you hadn't really noticed before, but it's actually covered in print. Uh, very small print, in fact. And the only one capable I'm of reading in. this from a distance is pliers. It is a extraordinary long document. And oh it my details goodness. everything about walking onto the premises of the Retworks uh, effluvium refillery. Wait a minute. Oh. oh. I would like to direct your attention to subsection 13 of action item 4. Oh. Uh, yeah, that's... A I'll man of contracts. All sales final. Well, since you're huh, prepared... You take that saint, you have a nice day. And I'll take my refill. And this time, cap it up! Very well. Um, so, if you would like to do this uh, in the future, you can do so um, after hours. One of the benefits of Retwork's uh, refillery is you can place your saint in the machine like so. They walk you over to the refillery, that the, the oh. refilling station that looks like your canister. Oh. You place it in the... He takes the canister from you, places it in the uh in the, the device and mm -hmm. you place a saint in a special slot once it, once you let the saint go it drops down into a thing you hear a lot of clicking and and, and and clanging inside and then the machine locks down in place really tightly and you see the the little meter slowly begin to fill ah uh, that's 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 spectacular! I know. Did you do this? No, no. This is Redworks. The Redworks oh, yeah. Effluvium Refillery. So who are you? You just a salesman? I'm I'm Tin. I work here. Oh. And you didn't create it? No, no. I just sell. Who did it? I need to see him. Well, that's Redworks. Do they, do they have all their limbs? Uh, excuse me? That's a shame. Okay. Thank you. I'll take it and, um... I'll walk away and then turn around, thumbs up. Mm. Yeah, sure. Uh, normally this would take a, a little bit longer, but because there wasn't, it wasn't totally empty. It's, uh, yeah, it's done. It. It's fine. You, you hear the machine <laughs> and the thing, uh, the, you see the clamps are open. The, the hissing is stopped and uh, a little ping. Ooh, uh -huh. beautiful. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And while this is going, I'm taking mega notes on this uh, machinery here. Um, I'm gonna draw me up a diagram. Something called copyright doesn't exist here, right? Nope, okay, great. Um, yep, I'm going to draw, I wanna, I wanna have some, take some memory notes and uh, as soon as we walk away, I wanna draw this bad boy up. Sure, yeah, you feel free to do so. Are y'all walking out of the refill? Yeah. Ooh. I'll be following behind Pierce pliers. Excuse me. The, li the, the sunlight has dimmed uh, significantly. In fact, now you can begin to see the hue of the street lights here. The lamps in Lemaret have begun to ignite. Um, you can see a corpseman walking around with a long pole. And uh, at the end of the pole is a small uh, device. You can't quite make out exactly what's at the end of the device. You know that at the bottom, where the corpsman is holding it, there's a there's a, um, a trigger, and the corpsman is placing the device into these these huge lamps on the uh, along this this stone street, as people are kind of bustling by and velocipedes are going by, and clicking this trigger, and you see suddenly uh, 
of the, the lamp igniting in a violet glow. This wow. is a nice area. I like these place. Oh, you like it enough? You want to live here? Huh? You want to move here forever? Lee? Probably not. Do this every evening? It's beautiful. Hmm. We should find a place to stay. Hibbit. And then discuss oh, yes. what we'll do. Hibbit, you see, what? you see somebody staring at you. What do they look like? Um, they look young. They look, um... They look young, uh, sort of like male presenting. They look like they look human, they're a little scruffy, but they, uh, they look like they drink fluvium pee. Not as much as you, apparently. Pliers. Uh -huh. <laughs> so I make sure they look like I've seen them before. The elixir cells, been man. Uh, no, but they notice you looking and they look down, they look away. I think we're causing some unwanted attention. People are staring. I felt a shadow earlier. We should find somewhere to be. Not out on the streets. Hmm. I'll keep an eye out to see if uh, we're being followed, wondered. Are they by themselves? Yeah. Are they okay. in a group? No, no, they're by themselves. They're leaning up against a, um, against sort of like a little, a little stone wall. You, hmm. you see a lot of people kind of bustling around for like a nighttime shift. Um, and you can begin to see just a lot of different kinds of activity but uh but this person is stationary they're just kind of leaning up against this thing with their arms over their chest and uh and just kind of looking up every so often and making a little glance back at you and just that pippet if they keep doing it i will walk up to them and say i see you looking oh uh shh, shh. do you need something are you the ones? Are you the ones? Uh, what does that even mean? You the ones one, of what? You the ones with the box. <gasps> we may have a present or two. Maybe we uh find a bar where we can talk. Oh no, the errands are too busy. Do you have another establishment in mind? I'm trying to be as low key as possible here, but I'm very strained. This is really hard for Pippet. She's trying not to declare at this moment. <laughs> Desperately. Yeah, I do. Oh, well, friend, uh, give me the directions and uh, we'll meet you there for dinner. I'll go with you. Uh, great. And I just awkwardly look back at the, the party and I'm like, Hey guys, it's uh, What do you want? Hey guys, just signal to him. Just come, just come on over, guy. Hey. Hey. I do declare. Who oh, are you? Claire, shh, you what do you want with Pippet? My name is Otis. You're, you're the one, right? You're the one. No. Who sent you? I Otis? was. I, t I stand over by Leaf, but I don't lock, I, I don't break contact with Otis. And I'll say, I'll whisper to Leaf. They, they know we have Whoa, 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 whoa. I thought there were three of you. I don't know what you heard, I but was... this is what you've got. Will sent a message and said there was three. Why is there four? Will caught us in a very particular situation. Our friend here was oh. in a bind. We usually are yes. four. Should we, we should go. The one, Take the us. one we were missing is a tracker. However, so nothing to worry about. That one's nothing to worry about. No. Oh, you're that. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. Um. Uh. Okay. 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 Think. Go. Just think. Mm, fine. 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 Okay. Uh. You know what? Uh. Just come with me. Just come with me and try not to make too much uh, of a spectacle. Lead the way. We can be quiet. Just remember, it, we went through a lot to bring this to you. Okay, that, you're right, you're right, you're right, okay. 
This way. Um, uh, we're gonna follow the runoff, all right? All the runoff. If we're walking, I take very long, stiff, like, lunges forward. Nothing to see here. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. If you can't be so obvious. This one. Uh, okay, okay, okay. And I'll try to loose it up. I'll just wrap oh, my they... arm around Pippin's arm and just walk with it. Come on! It's okay. Uh, Do you want to sniff some effluvian? Come on. <laughs> oh, I, I can't partake. My uh, nostrils don't uh, fine as well as yours, but uh, lovely weather we're having, right? I'm very <laughs> hungry. <laughs> me me too. Yes, we'll have, starving. We'll have refreshments when we get to the storm trains, okay? Oh, wonderful. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> is there a joke? Are we not eating? The, <laughs> Otis, eating. you can tell Otis is just like sweating bullets as they're like kind of making your way as like a big party along these these really narrow streets and alleyways. They're just like very. <sighs> I will I will chill out as we get halfway through our journey. Is he glistening? Oh yeah. Hey, Pip. I think you need some of that elixir. He's glistening. Oh. Like that lady was, and she drank it, and she was fine. So, I yeah. think I think they're just really nervous, pliers. Huh? What? All right. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Just okay. keep keep right. walking. Okay. Uh, I'd like to kind of keep an eye out to see if we end up getting any tails. Yeah, sure. Uh, you don't suspect so. Okay. You're the only one who wouldn't suspect that you're being tailed, just because you have that ability. Yeah. Everything's fine. There's no one around. Yeah, the the crowds are beginning to thin. You're you're making your way a little further south now. Um, it's a it's not a, a, a super hilly region, but you're going over a few little bridges, and below you're beginning to notice that there are just like open kind of aqueducts, not real aqueducts, but like like drainage canals, just like built mm. into the city, and some of them are disgusting. Some of them have like little bits of like fur and like. Teeth ah, and like yeah. really gross, kind of goopy material. It's difficult to tell what color it is in the violet glow of this night in Lemeret, but you suspect it's definitely not water. You run off from the flu works, probably. Eh. So you keep going and you're going and, uh, and you're making your way, snaking your way through this this old town. Uh, with these these cobblestone streets, the lamplight getting less and less frequent. And okay. Otis is just, okay, all right. Okay. Um, so before I show you where this place is, I have to know that you're not, you know, Can you no. Tell? I I don't know. I don't usually do this. So you're trying to make sure that we're not like you know. Looking <laughs> for not your, uh, who, well, who, which, which they are you looking for? Who? Who do you think? Your people. The Kassat. Clearly. Yeah. I'm not compromised. Oh, oh yeah, don't. we're not compromised. Wait, did you, did you say yes to Kassat? No, to Kassat Baid. The other one? Kassat Baid. Kassats are bad. Yes, exactly. Did you, you just said that out loud? I mean, I said it very quietly I, in the, just the group of all of us. Uh, just play along. I haven't really decided. Don't what... worry. We have what you're looking for. Because if you guys are, are, are some kind of like spies or whatever i'm i i can fight hmm. i'm a veteran i don't think you can fight <laughs> i could take all four of you okay but i, I to say but we're trying trip, to help you i trip them with my um how not my helmet with the trident you just trip with the, uh, you just glaive. Trip them <laughs> yeah why not <laughs> I'll, I'll, the I'll attempt to catch them as they fall because i'm already low to the ground just for a show of 
who's bad, you know, and then I'll, I'll yeah, grab yeah, yeah, them yeah, like, yeah. We, you know, I don't want them to hit their head or nothing. That'll, that'll be bad. Um, yeah. Tell you what, why don't you make me a, why don't you make me a grapple check? It's a might check versus an opponent's defense. Um, and their defense is going to be, I'll say the defense is eight. So you, you have to beat an eight with your might skill. That's you. That's Pippi. Pippi, you're the one tripping them. I'm just going to catch them if they, unless they don't crack their cranium. You're catching them, right? So yeah, that's you're your might them. check? No, it's Pippi. <laughs> oh, it's yeah. me. Yeah, it's oh, you, Pippi. You're tripping them. I'm oh, I'm happy to do it. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got totally, a low totally. center of gravity. You get totally, to totally, eight. totally. Oh, great. You know? Oh, goodness. Poor thing. <laughs> poor, poor thing. <laughs> All right. Kill him on the spot. Yep, he's dead. <laughs> That's, he got really lucky. Oh Still a 19. God. Um, yeah, okay. So, the, this. I have an ability for this. So, yeah. th let me share it really quickly. Okay, it is share not the to, ability. It is not to murder this person, it is just knocked down. And you, you, it was absolutely a might check. Ah, so, okay. Yeah, yeah. Instead I just knocked him prone. Okay. Yeah. All right, sure. <laughs> I, yeah. I definitely Pippet want to catch takes them, her glaive and she just wraps it around their ankles and just smooth motion, puts them on their butt. Okay. You add one stress to yourself for this Absolutely. ability. Uh, and pliers, you say you reach out and grab them while they're falling? Yeah, I want to catch them. I don't want them to bust <laughs> their cranium. It'd be a shame if they crack their head on something and then die. And then but our yeah. whole reason being here sucks. Roll me a, roll me a, um, roll me a might check. Oh, they're dead. Um, <laughs> see, Mike. They're fine. They're just proud. Wait, I have reflex. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. I don't see. Wait, where's mine at? At the bottom. It's on the left side. With weapons, yeah. Oh, oh. So it's a two d six. Oh my god. Three for you. Okay. Oh, I'm a fast sucker. Um, Fourteen. It it won't be enough. Oh, oh, um. To catch them as they're falling. So, Pippet, you like faster than you can Pippet. really react to. Pippet immediately just yoinks them uh, from the leg legs first. Leaf, you can feel the do at the at the at the speed of that movement. You feel the Doska inside start stirring and wanting to like come out to look at the fight that it knows is oh, happening boy. because it loves fights. Yeah, and right. and oh, no. pliers, you reach out to catch ah! Otis. Ah! Oh no! And within with with a very unsatisfying uh, stumble, you go down too, and you you kind of land on top of Otis and you just hear, <laughs> all you hear is him and you see Otis Otis the back of Otis's head like bang against the concrete the oh. uh, the the cobblestone really hard you just uh. hear eh yeah. i don't think this was going to, this was a helpful thing i tried to help i didn't do Fires. it i promise are you okay and i lift them up I'm and then fine. I'll look I feel at great. No response from Otis. Yeah, I think uh, they're not okay. Oh, they're just knocked out, guys, and I'll go. I don't know. The back of the head is starting to lift They'll off have the a concrete. concussion. It's okay. It's okay. And I'll, Suddenly, I'll, you see, uh, you hear at first a whoop of a lamp getting lit. Behind just a us? little ways down the street, a corpseman is walking around with a big pole lighting the oh, gas lamps. Well, and they're walking directly toward you. We'll be back next week with the next episode of Isless. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Veronica Ripley, creator of Isless. I'm super happy that I had you here. What a good episode. <laughs> Why am I always being tortured? I'm just trying to help. <laughs> Please take this opportunity to follow our Twitch stream where we do this show live every Friday at noon Pacific. You can check out our YouTube for our past shows or our Twitch, and you can find our podcast everywhere podcasts are consumed. Please ensure that you check out, if you want to play Isla's at home today for free, go to fablescraps.com, get on the mailing list, and we'll send you a free 
quick play guide. Uh, it's got art and lore and rules and a little encounter that you can play at home today with some pre-generated characters and stuff. It's really, really fun. So check it out for free by going to fablesraps.com. Sign up for the newsletter to get that quick play guide. And, uh, and yeah, check out our merch store for all of our cool merch stuff. We do a special exclusive podcast just for our merch supporters. Uh, called Leftovers, which is like a behind-the-scenes kind of podcast where we talk about the uh, episode and like kind of our favorite moments and behind-the-scenes stuff, like the writing of it. And I'm thinking I'm going to start adding show notes to that little pool of goodies for our merch supporters. So check out merch.fablescraps.com for more. Thank you so much. We'll be back next week with another episode of Isless. See ya. <laughs>